Hello, my darlings. Welcome in. I have a very special, ooh, let me make sure this cord is not in the way, reading for you today. This is going to be Virgo's reading, um, a general uh, Virgo reading. This is for the month of June. For the month of June. I hope you are all doing well today. If you're new here, um, and welcome back to all my returning subscribers. I love you guys. If you're new here, my name is Luna. I'm your Oracle of Starlight. My channel messages from Archangel Star Beings and Highest Light Spirit Lights for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light, and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline, that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, please go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, I see uh, there's like a lot of people that aren't getting their notifications lately. So if you are my subscribers, y'all be good. Be sure to check your notifications as well. Um, I've noticed I'm not getting a lot of notifications. It seems to be a, I don't know, like a glitch or something. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get into this reading. There'll be links below if you want a personal reading or anything like that, or links to the cards. Uh, or I have a Manifest Frequency channel where I put out frequency music and subliminals to help you manifest your ultimate reality. That'll be down below too. Okay, Virgo, let's get into your reading. It looks like you're moving away from something. It looks like uh, this could be an actually mental process. It could be a physical process, but we've got you in this boat moving away. So this could be something that you've done recently or something that's happening in the month of June. So we're asking about what's happening in the month of June, but this is kind of like a, a current energy. Like a, this is like a past future sort of energy. So let's see what we've got here. The artist. So you're moving away from something and what you're going to is some sort of artistic fulfillment. Now the artist also depicts like Mercury with the wings on his boots. So this is going to be excellent for communication. So you're meaning you're moving to away from something and you're going to be communicating more with someone or with the world. Now, I feel with this artist that you're meant to communicate with the world. Now, this could be an artistic talent or you could be writing a book or you might have like a YouTube channel where you communicate with others or perhaps another social media channel or maybe this is something you're launching. Let's go ahead and get a couple more cards and see what Spirit has to say about this. We're gonna get you some charms. Um, oh gosh, okay. Okay, so I had three cards come out. So we've got the Nine of Swords, Death, and the Page of Cups. So yeah, this is a rebirth. You were you were leaving behind something that was keeping you in the Nine of Swords, keeping you all tied up in your head. So we've got Six of Swords and Nine of Swords. So this Okay, on this card, we have this girl. What does it look like? It's her birthday or something? She's got this, or maybe she's in bed. Is this like a little bed here with these little roses? So the roses could have a particular meaning for you. Um, but there's like these things like it looks like spirits and stuff like gathering around like laughing at her these thoughts this um and this seems all mental right so this is uh she just feels very uh very beat down mentally this is there were things that were beating you down mentally and you're moving away from those things see like look he's got his um he's taking his beliefs his thoughts his swords um super intelligence this intelligence you're this intelligence you have you're taking everything that you've learned from these uh this rebirth process from the things that you had to let go of from the people that hurt you or um or overthinking this could have been you hurting yourself with overthinking you're you're taking everything that you've learned from that and you're growing for some of you guys i feel like you might actually be communicating the things that you've learned through this rebirth there may be love that you have to give to the world now this also could be like um you initiating love or love coming in for you it could be that someone wants to offer you a cup of love. Let's get a little more clarification on this Page of Cups spirit. Because it says this is a rebirth. This, this again could be you offering something to the world from this emotional balance that you've discovered or that you are discovering. Yes, um, so yes, I've got this, uh, look at this in reverse. So we've got the hanged man in reverse and the eight of pentacles. So you like worked really hard at escaping the matrix. You've been working really hard at escaping anything that's kept you tied up emotionally. And this is super incredible. So this is a great rebirth for you in the month of June. You've been working very hard at this. And I asked to clarify the page of cups. So it could be that you're working really hard at being able to offer this cup of love to someone else to, um, now, again, this could be the love that you want to share with the world. This could be something you have to share with the world that's emotional. Like from this emotional balance that you've gathered, you've got this ability to share this with the world. So Virgos are very, um, you know, it's a, it's a very 
I do feel they're a very loving sign. So I do feel that you want, you have a love to give. Like you worked really hard at escaping karmic contracts, I'm hearing. So that you worked really hard at this so that you would be able to offer this cup of love. Let's see if it's to someone in particular. Um, let's see what's going on here with this. I want a little more clarification. Thank you, Spirit. The Fool. Yeah, I do feel like you want to have a new beginning. A new beginning in love with someone. I've got the chariot in reverse at the bottom of the deck. And actually, my cards have done something very strange. Let's let's fix this. I had a bunch of them flip over, apparently. And the, look, look, you guys, I already flipped these over, but this is, like, what's going on here? The empress? The empress was hiding in my deck. Oh, <laughs> you want to offer. You want a new beginning with the empress, Virgo. Um, this is a new beginning that you want to have with the empress. Now, if you are an empress, this is someone that wants to, uh, Virgo empress energy, this is someone that wants to have a new beginning and offer a cup of love to you. So you just take this either way, but um, that's what was flipped over in the middle of my deck. I said, what was going on? What's going on? Um, so you might have been kept from moving towards this empress before. Maybe you didn't have the best luck in love. Before, again, yes, people keeping you in this nine of swords and, and, and you just had to put a death to that. You had to put an end to that. Um, you had to put an end to being tied up in your head or letting others make you feel that way. Moving away from that, moving away, releasing yourself, releasing yourself, coming up out of karmic contracts, coming up out of the matrix, and now you're going to be able to have a new beginning with the Empress. That's, that's incredible. So let's see. Let's clarify, um, let's clarify the fool spirit. Let's clarify the fool. This is justice for you. You have this depth of emotion, this depth of love to give. So we've got justice and the well. The well is an extra card that comes in this deck just like the, um, the artist. These are two of the extra cards in this um, ethereal visions illuminated tarot. It's one of my favorite tarots. It's so beautiful. So this is justice, um, justice for you. This new beginning. This could be justice and love because you have this depth of emotion for the empress, um, for an empress, or you have this depth of emotion to give in love for this empress energy. So Virgo, there could be someone in particular that you are fixated on. I do see that. If so, this is justice for this sort of relationship, this justice for you. However this is going to work out, it's going to be justice for you. You're going to get, I'm seeing Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, passionate. Um, something's going to come in fast for you, and it's going to be very passionate, this new beginning. So you want to jump forward at something. I've got Ten of Swords underneath that. See, that is a very powerful energy. Yeah, it's been, it's been, um, oh my God, you just have to do this. It's been too much for you, right? There's, uh, there's somebody, um, there's somebody that you just have to go to that you feel like you really need to be with. Um, that's just been, you've just been like overwhelmed at not being able to have this new beginning. Um, these could have been energies in the past that made you feel this way, but that's what I'm feeling. I feel it has to do with this passion. This passion has just been overwhelming. You want to offer this cup of love? Gosh, yeah, see the page of pentacles. I feel like you're really thinking about this. Um, it's either that or they're thinking about this for you. So, you know, just take this how it resonates. Um, but I do feel like you've been really thinking about this. You're like, I've got this. I've got this contract. We've got a pentacle here. So this is um, this stability, but I'm feeling it's like uh, a contract. This might be something that you're really thinking about that's new. Um, that has to do with the golden, uh, for some of you guys, again, I, I'm all about the golden timeline. This could be a golden contract for the golden timeline. Um, and you're looking at it. Maybe I'm, you have pentacles. I always see rings. So like maybe you you want to offer someone this love. You want to offer someone a ring. You Perhaps some of you want to get married. I'm not seeing that card coming out yet. But you know what? We're going to get some other tarot cards here. This does seem to be about love. But I haven't had a love card come out. I have passion. I have the empress. I have death. Justice, depth of emotion. You know, you're highly sensitive. You're you're very psychic. Uh, you might have connections. You like make feel. Oh my gosh, yeah. Temperance and the Empress. Temperance and the Empress. You're having to temper out these energies with the Empress. This is patience. The Empress is here twice. I said you the depth of emotion for the Empress. Maybe the depth of emotion is so strong. 
um, that you've had to temper these energies? Or this is someone with this depth of emotion that's so strong for you, if you are this Empress energy, Virgo. So just put yourself in this however you are. Um, I feel, I honestly feel like I'm reading from some divine masculines and then I'm reading about the divine feminine. So if you're the divine feminine, then you're this Empress energy, okay? Um, yeah, this is beautiful. I've got a six of wands at the bottom of the deck, so you're going to have success. You're going to have success with this person that you care about or this person that cares about you that has this depth of love and passion for you. This is going to be a new beginning. It's going to be successful for both of you. You know what I feel like you're going to temper out each other's energies? Like there's going to be some balance. There's going to be some great balance to this relationship. I feel like um, someone's been planning this for a long time. This could be you or this could be this other person. Someone's been planning this. And I feel like you had to put up walls to fight off other energies. Six of Wands. Yeah, they wanted to keep you. We've got Nine of Wands here too. You know, like they really did want to beat you up and you just put up walls against it. It was a, str it was a struggle. It was a struggle, but you worked hard at this. Virgo, you, uh, with the Hierophant right underneath that, it could have been overcoming structure. It could have been overcoming, again, I said you were coming up out of the matrix and things like this. They're just wanting me to check the time. I saw 11.08. So for some of you guys, um... This is, you know, you journeying on that path to enlightenment. For some of you guys, this could be a twin flame energy. Also, again, we have that eight for the karmic cycles. So I didn't, I, I did say you struggled, you worked really hard at this. You overcame. It was the, it was a strong battle, but you're a warrior. You put up these walls and you moved away from these energies that were trying to hurt you. It was like a death process to that. And this is a complete rebirth for you. This is a rebirth and you just, um, this is a new beginning, a new beginning in love with this empress energy. So yeah, you were you walked away from the structure. You walked away from with the eight of cups. You like walked away from the people that weren't filling your cup. They weren't loving you the way you deserve to be loved. They weren't returning your love because I know Virgos, you have this really great depth of love and loyalty, love and loyalty. Yeah, you had to cut off all those energies. I'm taking them at the bottom from the bottom of the deck. You had to cut off all of those energies. There may be a Queen of Swords that was in particular uh, that someone had to walk away from. This could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There could have been, um, or there, there could have been, that had to do with the karmic. Or this could be you. You might have a strong Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra placement in your chart. And again, that's just cutting off of those energies and just thinking, I have this to give. I know I have this. Virgo, I feel like you all feel you come in with this partnership, right? You know you're supposed to be in partnership. I feel like a lot of you feel this way. And this is what I'm feeling. You're like, yo, I know I have this. I know I have this beautiful partnership to give somebody. I know I have this beautiful love to give, this stability. Uh, Virgos are very stable. I have this stable home love, home environment. I want to nurture someone. And, um, and I'm just wondering, um, yeah. Because you want to offer this love. It's like a new, it's, it, you're a fool for them. You want to just do this fool's leap and rush in. Or someone wants to do this fool's leap and rush in for you. I've got the four of swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody is, somebody's been um, in their, someone's been needing to rest from this, okay? Maybe a little in their heads, maybe a little needing to heal. Uh, what I'm feeling with this is like, I honestly feel that these are like the energies you've walked away from. And they're just like, um, I know I've never felt like so bereft with this four of swords card, but that's what it feels like. Like the world's gone gray for them, you know, and they're just like sad, um, that they missed out on you. Like that they like your love was special. Your love was rare. And, um, yeah, that's, I feel that energy from someone that you walked away from, because this is all about you putting up these boundaries from these structures. This could have been a, a life partner or a, um, a marriage. This could have actually been a marriage. There could have been some depression involved or something like that. Let's move on to this happy topic of what's coming in June. Stop talking about these past people, spirit. Let's get this. What's coming in June? Here we go. The lovers, the queen of cups, and the three of pentacles. Well, look at this. You guys are coming together. You're getting it together. You guys are going to work together. You're going to build something strong. This is a soulmate coming in. This is love. This is someone who's sensitive and nurturing just like you. Kindness. This could actually be a water sign. So they might have a strong Pisces, um, Scorpio, Cancer placement. 
or they just could be quite very highly intuitive, very loving and motherly. I do I feel that it has to do with this empress energy here. You have this soulmate, and this could be soul family, star family coming in for you, but this is what you wanted. This is what you're manifesting, this new beginning in love. Right here, you worked really hard at this. This is justice for you, that you get this love, that you get to collaborate, that you get to work together with this empress energy. Or they get to work together with you, if you are the empress. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I'm really enjoying this. We're gonna um, we're gonna move some of these cards off here, you guys, and I'm gonna get some other cards for you. I'm just feeling the need to clear the board, so we're gonna clear the board. Clear the board, and find out what else is coming in for you in June, Virgo. What else do they want to tell me? We're gonna get some energy oracle cards and some tarot of mystical moments. Is what I'm feeling here. Coming in for Virgo in June. I think it has to do with this soulmate, this love. Oh my gosh, well, they just flew out. Let me throw them at you. Here they are. <laughs> so, yes, it does have to do with this love. So, it looks like there's adjacent possibilities in love. Um, this again, it's the community coming together, the starseed community. The seventh, it's the house of relationships, right? This is love. This is the Archangel Ariel Collective. So, you could, again could be a twin flame, or this could just be saying, This is going to be very passionate. Connected in the sacral chakra, very passionate, this love. So you've got this passionate love coming in, and there's adjacent possibilities. Now, this could be adjacent possibilities for this love, or adjacent possibilities with how you're getting to this love or how this love is coming in. Now, there is a major conjunction happening. Um, it's actually going to be happening in a few days. It's on June 4th, and this has to do with Venusian energy. It has to do with love. It has to do with the divine feminine. So uh, there is a major, it's going to be a, uh, what do you call it, a... Uh, sextile is it a sextile or a it's the one that's the best uh a trine it's a trine you guys so it's a it's a trine so we have three uh, of three planets in conjunction it's a, a trine making a triangle and um this trine is going to make everything flow so magically and we've already been working a lot with this venusian energy with venus and the divine feminine rising but this is going to bring in joy for you this is going to bring in the one i've got the sun at the bottom of the deck this is going to be a beautiful manifestation time. Your cup is going to be overflowing. You're going to feel like your cup is overflowing. You have all this joy, abundance, and this is during the summer. So I, I'm feeling this beautiful sun energy um, and summer and passion. So we got it right here with passion. So it could be that you're traveling somewhere this summer and you might meet this person or you're traveling to meet this person or, um, so again, because there's adjacent possibilities. They could be coming in to meet you. You just might meet somebody somewhere. Or this person is somebody from your past or somebody you're already speaking with and suddenly someone's going to communicate. I'm seeing community, but I'm hearing communicate. Um, working together, working together in community. Magician in the mirror. For many of you guys, um, for many of you, you've gone through this hall of mentees, like this mirror sort of initiation where people were reflecting your energy back at you and you for some of you guys, could have believed they were a twin flame. So as what I'm seeing here, y'all just take what resonates. For other of you, others of you, you guys were working up out of karmic cycles and others were mirroring things back at you so that you could figure out what you needed to work on in yourself. Again, this was coming out, but you're promised victory. You're promised victory in this. This magician in the mirror, this is from the bottom of the deck. This magician in the mirror and the angel of balance. See, this is all about, I've got anxiety right underneath that. So this angel of balance, you might have had some anxiety about this relationship, but I'm wanting you to know that it's going to be balanced out. You're going to have victory in this. There are many adjacent possibilities. So it doesn't have to be one way or the other. You don't have to set an expectation and hold on to it. And then if that doesn't work out like everything is dashed, that's not what's happening here, okay? This is gonna happen for you. So you can accept it the way it comes. It'll happen, you'll, you'll know. It'll, it'll be just so obvious. And many of these are going to be twin flames connected to ancient Egypt. For some of you guys, if you resonate as twin flames, high priest and high priestess, Atlantis, Lemuria, I've got that right here, Egypt. Egypt. So again, I do feel like you've been feeling some anxiety about this. I said that in the beginning, I felt like the Virgos, you guys came in and you just want to give this love, you want to have this partnership. And I feel like many of you could be twin flames. Again, only take what resonates. If not, this is a soulmate, a soulmate. But you've had some anxiety about this coming in. So I want to assure you, 
I want to assure you that there's many different ways that this is going to come in for you, but this is victory and the sun. This is yes. Yes, it's happening. Right in the center here. It's happening. This very, very, um, very passionate love. Victory in this. This is all going to be balanced out because you brought in these, uh, these alchemical potions, you know? Or you have angels around you that are highly protecting this union right now. I know that is very, very much the case for many of us. So that's a beautiful, beautiful message. I'm going to get you some Tarot of Mystical Moments now. We're going to just kind of lay them around this. Let's clarify this. Angel of Love. I was going to say so. Wheel of Fortune. Clarifying the Angel of Love. You're going to have luck in this. Many of you guys might have been quantum jumping or skipping, running through timelines, so changing, changing a lot. Um, whatever you're doing to change, uh, whatever you're doing that's different is actually bringing in the perfect love for you. You're going to have success in this. This is Wheel of Fortune. This is fortune, success, victory. We've had victory and success right there next to each other, right under the angel of love, right next to yes, yes, proceed, be seen. Yes, it's going to happen. Yes, you are the one. Let's clarify, let's clarify this victory, Spirit. Oh, King of Wands in passion. It's coming in fast for you. Pa fast and fiery. Victory. For some of you guys, um, you might have had like a temper or something that you had to gain victory over as well to balance out. It could have been like a balancing of the emotions because they've got anxiety over here and they got the Kings of Wands over here so you can be very fiery. Um, you can be, you might have, or this could be, this could be a king of wands that you're going to have victory with. So again, take what resonates. This could be a Leo, uh, Leo, Aries, Sag Sagittarius. Someone with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius placement that wants to come in fast for you. That's very passionate about you. This could be this, uh, this love. But also I feel, again, this king of wands, they can be very fiery, very passionate. They can be very, um uh too much sometimes right like the passion might burn the flame might burn too much like the anger um it might be quick to so it might have been something to balance out this might have been a swing with anxiety you know they go back and forth oh because it's like fight or flight right anxiety is like fight or flight this would be fight this would be flight and it's a balancing of that. You're going to have victory in this. For the, whoever this message is for, you're having victory in this. You are going to blossom in this month of June. You're going to have all the luck. Yeah, all the luck in getting there. I've got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. All the luck in moving forward. All the luck in regeneration. Because I've got the snail there and I'm feeling regeneration. I have the king of pentacles. I mean, it wanted to come off the bottom of the deck, and I didn't take it, and then it popped out anyway. Uh, King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. There could be somebody that's younger or a child involved with someone in particular. Um, for other messages, what I'm getting from this is like, uh, yeah, there could be somebody that's younger, somebody that's older, or there could be somebody that's more established financially in the partnership of this love. This love that's coming together, there could be somebody that's just growing their abundance, like starting off, like the watering the garden, new to this, uh, right? And there could be somebody that's like king of pentacles status already. This could you be you, Virgo, on either side, you know, we've got the pentacles here. That's total earth energy, that's you. So this could be you as this king of pentacles coming together with this page or vice versa. Y'all switch that however it resonates. Again, it could also be somebody that has a child, that you're moving towards. Um, there was like two of swords also came out with this. So I feel like there could have been um, some indecision, some thought about like possibly two different paths, two different ways to go. These things needed to be balanced out. This could have had to do with anxiety. Um, this could have had to do with stepping out into the community and showing yourself more. I do feel... A Virgos, some of you can be more reserved. And maybe you don't show your inner self as much. You maybe show the world uh, like an outer facade that um, that it's, you know, that, that you used to get by, which is cool. That's what everyone needs to do to, to survive in the world. But um, I do feel like some of you guys might have had trouble showing your, tr like the inner you to the world. It might have been a little frightening. Anxiety, see? Um, you know, like the, the things that are truly within you, 
to mirror that to the world. But I, for those of you that this is the message for, this is you're going to have great success in this. You're, you're showing your true self to the world is what's bringing in this love. It's what's bringing in this balance. There was a judgment call that had to do with some sort of past relationship. This had to do with this two of swords, this indecision. There was a judgment call on that, and the judgment is the ten of cups. So the judgment is you're getting this ten of cups. You're getting this beautiful emotional fulfillment and happy family, and this is justice for you. This is justice. This is balancing out those karmic contracts. This is balancing out everything you did because there was like, again, there were things that were hidden. And, and what I'm feeling like this is like you wished upon a star. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to you. Sorry, guys, I just channeled through really fast. So, <laughs> so anything your heart desires will come to you, y'all. It takes it takes it takes over sometimes. <laughs> it always gets me. So, anything your heart desires will come to you. When you wish upon a star, is that from Pinocchio, you guys? I want to be a real boy. You know, I heard there's a lot of Masonic imagery and the story of Pinocchio. And it has a lot to do with actually coming up out of karmic cycles and, again, becoming a real person, like cutting the strings. I got those strings to hold me down, to make me fret or make me frown. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. <laughs> that came through again. So, yeah, so this is fun, uh, Virgo. I don't know if you like Pinocchio or you like Disney movies, but I hope so. You you cut those strings again, and you saw that in the beginning of the reading, right? Of this hanged man that was upside down. Uh, it was the hanged man in reverse where you, you let yourself loose, and that's true. So you've got no strings to hold you down. This is justice for you. This is balance. This is balanced justice for you this was the judgment call this was a judgment here on the earth and i'm seeing xx i got the knight of wands right underneath that and again i do feel right underneath that is the high riff font i do feel that somebody wants to come in there could be like a partnership a traditional uh partnership that wants to come in really fast for you that wants to like jump through hoops of fire to get to you it's either that or you want to do this for someone else you know you take this how it resonates jump through hoops of fire for them you know, and you want to move to him really fast, really fast. And the, the Hierophant, I'm feeling you've got all this inner wisdom and knowing and knowledge that you're like this. Uh, for some of you, you're a spiritual guru. I do feel that. For others of you, I feel that this is going to be a marriage, uh, the Hierophant of a marriage. For others of you, I feel um, that this is a spiritual master coming in really fast to help teach you more for some of you guys you're a spiritual master that's meant to teach others and then you're going to be communicating with others very fast so there was several messages that came through there y'all just take the one that resonates for you you're going to put these over here okay let's see if there's any other cards we want to get you know what we're going to clean the board again clear the board clear the board make sure we're not putting everything in reverse there we go and we're going to get you some, I'm going to get some charms. And I want to get, here's my tarot of mystical moments. Charms, and I want to get you some star codes astro. That's what I'm feeling. There you are, my energy oracles. There you are. We're going to get you some star charms and star codes astro. This is going to give us some more signs and stuff. And let's see what we got for these charms. Oh, hey, I've got the dice in here too. Let's get you some numbers. What do we got for Virgo this month? So 90, there was a 90 degree turn or something very particular happened around this 90 degree turn or something particular happened in the 90s or someone was born in the 90s. I've got three, six, and one. 36. So someone could be 36. Uh, someone could be life path three, life path six, or life path one. And I'm seeing 111. 111 could be a number that you're seeing right now. This also could be something important happening on the third, the sixth, or the first of June. This is probably going to, I think this video is going to come out on the first of June. I'm going to put it out today. Is it the first today? It is. Oh, it's Saturday the 1st of June. Okay, so there could be something special happening on the 6th or uh, the 3rd or the 13th or the 16th. Okay, 
So that's very important. There actually could be something very special happening today for you as well. Let's go ahead and get some Star Codes Astro for you. Oh, we're going to get some charms as well. What do we get pop out here? Um, okay, that's too many cards. Let's try again. We don't need a whole hunk of them. Why are they coming out in hunks? It's not how they're supposed to. Capricorn. Capricorn Achieve. What do we got here? Nurture Community. Okay, we'll, those are just two, so we'll take that. It's not too bad of a chunk. And we're going to get some charms for you. Okay, so I've got an elephant for you. We have this really ornate heart. We have this uh, handmade. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love this. Um, we have this little boy. And oh, we're putting this up here. Here we go. Uh, we have this key. Ooh, it's a Triskelion key. We have the Hansa sign. That's beautiful. And this kitty cat. So you were magical and independent. I want you to nurture this independence within yourself because I think it's a really, really great spiritual thing for you. You are divinely protected right now. With this series nurture energy, I'm feeling a very, very blossoming, abundant Virgo energy. Um, you are going to achieve. You're going to achieve everything. With this, you're going to achieve this love. You're going to achieve this stability. I feel like you have something that from your inner child, from your inner child that you've always wanted to achieve, to, to bring into balance, to, to do in this world, to accomplish, and that you have this ability to work towards that. So Capricorn's another earth energy. Also, it's like a double energy. So this also could be, there could be somebody that you, uh, you were, <laughs> that you were obsessed with or um, have really tempted by and this if this was something that you wanted to leap forward with that like new beginning and love with that fool's leap um, to have strength in this you're going to achieve that so that's a particular message for someone for many of you guys this is a 10 so this is a mastery of a cycle I feel what you've achieved here is the healing of your inner child and also that there's a dream again a dream that that maybe, um, and this is strength. You're achieving this strength. You have the strength to move up the mountain and you're going to achieve something great. So this could be something that you're achieving in the month of June. I wonder if there's a special conjunction with Ceres in June. There could be. So um, there's a triskelion. This is very, this is a connected body, mind, and spirit. And again, I was saying, I felt like you had this love that was for you, connected body, mind, and spirit. And there could be a harvest for this. And this is a divinely protected love, a very spiritually protected love with the eleventh health for, house for community. Um, we have the the beautiful ornate heart here, and it says handmade. This little little handprint that says handmade. So there is a love that's handmade for you, and that might be what you're reaching towards now. You're going to achieve this love. It's going to be a beautiful nurturing love that's going to be nurturing for your soul and theirs. It's highly divinely protective. It's going to be very magical. It's going to be balanced body, mind, and spirit. It's going to be highly spiritual. And together, you guys are going to achieve much on this world. That's a beautiful, beautiful message. Let's get you some more cards. I'm going to check the time. I don't want to go too long here. Ooh, 33. That's a master number. I have passion at the bottom of the deck. Fifth house for passion. Yeah, this passion is coming in for you. You're going to achieve this. Now, for some of you, there is um, it's the community that you're wanting to go to. And this is like your passion. Again, I, we had the artist come up in the beginning. And this is the artist. I'm also seeing the four and the seven for the relationship house. So again, this definitely could be a relationship. Um, but this is you sharing something passionate. You're going to be able to nurture this passion within you. You're going to achieve something great with it. Um, and then again, you're going to be working together with the community. And if you have a soulmate partnership, like a twin flame that you're being called to, you're going to come together and you're going to work together to achieve something great. This, this wants to come out in a chunk again. Let's try that again. Here we go. Yeah, you're on this journey, progressions, journey. You're on this journey, a journey to wholeness, journey to oneness, journey to self is what I'm hearing. I said you're going to be able to climb these mountains with this achieve. You're going to achieve this, whatever it is that you're passionate about. And if you don't have this passionate thing yet, you, what you're going to do is journey to this passion and it's going to help you achieve everything and overcome. Yeah, you're being called to take action towards this now with this Mars energy for motion. Take action towards this journey to nurture yourself. 
to nurture your passion, to come together with this community, to heal. Um, like, again, you might need to nurture yourself in healing. Some of you guys, um, it's like a wounded healer. Chiron is the wounded healer. So a healer, heal thyself. Some of you guys are needing to take action to heal yourself, or you have been taking this action. If you have been, you're going to achieve this. You're going to achieve this, and it's bringing you to home. It's bringing to you this beautiful, I'm taking these off the bottom of the deck. It's bringing you to this beautiful home. This community. This is like soul family, soul tribe coming together. And it's going to be beautiful. We've got Taurus energy here. Um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. It's cultivate. Taurus for cultivate. This slow moving energy that you're going to achieve this. This a Taurus does. You've got to achieve right here. A Taurus achieves, you know. This might be slow moving, Virgo. We've got several, um, you know, more other earth signs out here. So you just want to be really sure. It's going to be really stable. This partnership that you're cultivating, for some of you guys, this is the case. We've got the two here of you guys coming together. And I'm hearing it's going to be rooted in friendship. For many of you, this is true. It's going to be rooted in friendship. Uh, you guys could both be connected to the tree of life. This could, Again, I said this could be a very highly spiritual connection. There could be some ancestry here in common. Um, for some of you guys, for this partnership that I see this community that you're going to, you could be connected ancestrally through the tree, uh, the, through the DNA, through the tree of life, um, through the ancestral trees. So this could be tribes, like like tribes coming together. I've got the moon underneath that and Libra energy for balance. So the perception and the balance. I think we need to put these over here. Here we go. Yeah, this healing, it, this healing you realized was all in your perception and your perception versus reality or your perception creates your reality or you needed to change your perception to heal, cause this healing. I feel Mercury energy here. I've got Chiron, but I'm feeling Mercury energy. Chiron is like the wounded healer is also like the prodigal son. Someone may be coming, uh, go, coming home that had moved away from home. Or again, this if this is like a star seed thing, this is coming home to soul family, star family that maybe you were never even with. For some of you guys, this is the case, but it's coming through swiftly with the Mercury energy that I'm feeling here. And this has to do with your change in perception, this change in perspective that you've had. Perhaps that you've been able to root down into the earth and be more grounded recently, be more balanced. And again, I've got the seven here. And I'm feeling this balanced partnership. Someone could be a Libra, Taurus, Capricorn. Aries with the Mars energy. Okay. I think we're done with our Star Codes Astro cards. I'm going to get you guys a couple of Woodland Wardens here. I was thinking, what are we cultivating, spirit? What are we cultivating? You know what we're cultivating? <laughs> Satisfaction and luck. That's what you're cultivating with your change in perception, your change in perspective, you knowing these things that were hidden and some, some, someone was embodying these moon energies. And this could be, also I'm seeing like the twin flames coming together, somebody gazing up at the moon, somebody being rooted into the earth. So this could be like an air energy and an earth energy. And we have Libra here, so yeah, it could definitely be an air energy. Something light, beautiful, mysterious, that you want to blossom and grow with. For someone, this is the case. It's just the little message that was coming through. Because I have this turtle that I saw. Um, this is the turtle that I saw for the Divine Partnerships through the Eclipse Portal. So the turtle in Coriander Satisfaction. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're nurturing, you're cultivating the satisfaction within yourself, and this is bringing you all the luck. With a duck and chrysanthemum, it's bringing you all the luck. That's a beautiful message. Yeah, you've been healing wounds. You've been working to healing wounds, and I feel like maybe even recovering memories. And this is how you're changing your perception. This is how you're changing your perspective. You're seeing things from a higher perspective. Yeah, you've been doing this great healing with the deer and oat. <laughs> healing and healing wounds. They came out together. Chiron, heal. 
You've been healing. You're going to achieve this. You're achieving this. You're achieving this strength. Just flew out. I was trying to show it to you. The ac elk and ash. I thought this is ac elk and elsh. How is that even dyslexia? <laughs> the elk and ash strength. The elk and ash. Yeah, you're going to achieve this strength, this satisfaction, this luck. And I think you're going to achieve this in the month of June. See, this is all about the month of June. Yeah, because you're moving forward with this modest fortitude, this modest fortitude forward. That's exactly what this Taurus cultivating is talking about. You're moving forward with this modest fortitude, and you're going to have all the luck. You're following your intuition, and it's what's taking you there. It's what's taking you on this healing journey. For many of you, uh, you need to set this in motion, uh, or you already have. So y'all just take this how it resonates. You're, you're doing this healing journey. It's going to take you to this satisfaction, luck, and strength. Yeah, following your intuition. It's really getting you there. This is beautiful. I'm so excited for you. Um, and you're, what you're going to is that beautiful love and beautiful partnership. I'm feeling just a couple of practical magic cards. So let me get a couple of those for you and see what's going on there. Try to make sure they don't have all the little... They have all these little things that have like the layouts and I don't want those cards. I just don't want to throw them away out of the deck, you know, you guys? No, <laughs> it's like... Anyway, throw these over here. There's like 10 of them. Thanks for being so helpful. It's an adorable card deck. I really love this deck. Oh, yeah, they just they just threw cards out everywhere. They love me too. Thanks, cards. <laughs> okay, so we want something for Virgo. We want to know what's going on with this love. We want to know what's going on with this love. See, we see we're on this healing journey, this modest fortitude healing journey. We're cultivating something. What we're cultivating this home community that we're going to, this love, this great passionate love. We're going to achieve this. Yes, standing in their strength. You're going to have this satisfaction, luck, and strength. I cannot believe it's taking me so long to get any cards to come out. Maybe there's not any cards that, ah, that want to come out for you. Luck and tranquility. I was saying luck and look what flipped over in the middle of the deck. Luck and tranquility. Lavender. Satisfaction, strength, luck, and tranquility. That's beautiful. The butterfly at the bottom of the deck. Happiness. Happiness. These are the things that are coming in for you. In June, this is beautiful as you're standing in your strength. And I said in the beginning, I was like right here, inner child healing. It's definitely some inner child healing that's happening. You're going to achieve this. The black kitten. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you're manifesting and you are protected right now. The protection, um, you could be manifesting protection. So this is manifest and protection. Um, I was saying you were divinely protected. And you're manifesting this beautiful, this is what you're manifesting. You're cultivating this with this modest fortitude forward, following your intuition through this healing journey that you're doing, this wounded healer healing journey. Um, and you're manifesting something incredible. This is going to be uh, your satisfaction, luck, tranquility, happiness, and strength uh, coming in for you in the month of June. This is beautiful. You've manifested this. You manifested this protection. There's a great change happening right now for you. Great change that's bringing you to balance. This is the truth. Circle around the moon change. Tiger's eye for balance. Midnight margaritas for truth. Yeah. Somebody might be spilling their truth in the middle of the night as well. That's just a little tidbit there. Somebody could be using a tiger's eye to manifest, or this could be bringing in great balance. This could be a call that if you're looking for this balance, this grounding, that this tiger's eye would be very grounding for you. Right underneath that, I've got grounding. That's wild, you guys. <laughs> so you're going to have me look down at the bottom of the deck. That's super incredible. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Tiger's Eye. Or maybe you have another necklace, like another stone necklace that you carry that's super grounding for you that's helped to bring about this great change as well. That's really the truth. It's been very healing. Maybe crystals have been very healing for you. Maybe you're doing a lot of grounding. This is bringing you to protection and balance. And it's helping you to manifest. And it's bringing about this great change. You're manifesting great change. Yeah, with your energy, with your energy and your ability to observe auras. Like, I think you have an incredible um, magnetic field yourself. You feel like you have this beautiful aura, this beautiful energy. And that's what's bringing in this luck, tranquility, happiness, satisfaction, and strength. Yeah, that's beautiful. And connection. Right underneath that, I've got connection. This blood bond connection, that's what you've been manifesting as well. This is coming in for you, this stability. The stability, I've got enchantment right underneath that. It's going to be just so enchanting. It's just so enchanting. They're never going to want to let you go. I've got release in reverse. They're never going to want to let you go. They're just so enchanted with you. Or this is you being enchanted with someone else. They're never going to want to let you go. They're never going to let you go. There's a beautiful love for you. 
the satisfaction and luck you're going to have with this. It's going to bring you guys both so much happiness and luck, so much tranquility. It's a divine connection. You guys are connected energetically. And, and I do feel like you both have the ability to observe these auras. And maybe your auric fields are going to just like build together. Maybe um, it's going to feel like home when you're around each other because of how your auras interact together. Because of your energies, because of this blood bond, this connection, this enchanting connection that's going to bring you all the luck, tranquility, happiness, and stability. Um, yeah, that you're, it's going to feel like home. You're going to feel it. You're going to be able to feel it. This is beautiful. I, I think we're going to leave it on this note because I'm feeling super high vibrational now. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it on this note for you guys, Virgo. This is incredible. You guys, leave me a comment down below, especially if you made it this far. I probably should have asked you to do that before. Go ahead and like the video for me on the way out, you guys, because it helps me so much. I'm ever so grateful for you, for all the beautiful energy you send me, and I can't wait to do another reading for you. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon.